My husband doesn't believe me when I say we have no money. My current job doesn't pay great, but I to work from home and maintain the house. We make roughly the same. Our bills are just too much. We have too many credit cards, and he doesn't realize the amount that is put on each month, not including the interest. It's $1.15 here, $1.20 there, $1.60 for a video game, then $1.150 in food for us and our toddler. He wants a hobby toy each week, claiming, it's just $25, what can I do? At this point, I'm pinching dimes and nickels from him so it looks like I'm depriving him of life, but we can't afford it. Edit. We make about $1.90K a year and live in CA. Our mortgage is $4,600, $1,200 in daycare a month, and after paying bills, we have $300 left, not including the amount put on credit cards. We owe like $1.35K in credit card. I'm going to be honest with you in this scenario. If you're the one that holds and manages the finances, you place a lock on the cards and show the breakdown of what you bring in and what you're putting out. That's the first and foremost thing you need to do. I mean, hell, the wife and I literally just did that, and we do it every quarter. Or when a bill surprises us and we want to redo the matrix. Secondly, sell that goddamn house now and find a cheap place to rent or buy another one with a much low coal compared to what you have. I am curious what kind of house you have to charge you 4600 a month, because mine is 5300 a month. So is your house, to you, worth that much you aren't willing to part it? Thirdly, your mental health and your child's health are way too important to be dealing with what you are currently paying and potentially have everyone go hungry or not afford basic needs in this life. There is nothing wrong with renting or going to a smaller house to ensure you and your family's safety. Yes, it sucks, but when you look at the positive angle of you'll be able to pay your debt off and actually fucksking breathe, it gets easier. OP, I want to see you out of this mess. No one deserves this, so please don't make it end poorly. We are rooting for you, but first thing first, you need to cut the immediate fatty expenses, wants, and start to plan potential sale. Your debts are too large. This isn't a personal finance question. It's a relationship question. I can tell you as someone who looks at this from the outside that these numbers don't work. Your mortgage scares me, and I make a lot more than you. I don't even know how you got approved for that mortgage in the first place. And if you use the phrase, not including the amount we put on credit cards, then none of your other numbers matter anyway because the ability to take on debt can mask just about anything for a short amount of time. But none of that matters if you and your husband aren't facing this together like a team of two. If your husband is another child in the house that you have to manage, then there are no good endings to this story. You need to figure out how to work together as adults are relationships. If you can do that, there are paths forward financially, but you're not there yet. You need to put another $250 on a credit card and go to a financial advisor with your husband present and have them go over this information with both of you. You two have created a really big financial mess here. How did you two qualify for a $4,600 mortgage on what's effectively minimum wage in Cali? You need more income yesterday. This problem is going to be literally impossible to solve without cutting your expenses by half, maybe selling the house if you have enough equity, and doubling your income. You still aren't going to be buying video games for a long time. You have built a debt prison, OP, and married someone with the financial maturity of a toddler. I truly wish you the best. You can fix this, but it's going to be a multi-year process that has to start with professional advice. Your issue is in the relationship, not your money, and it is time to make it very serious. You have a toddler that needs cared for and provided for. You are putting nothing in savings and are one big financial problem away from disaster. So tell him, you want play money? Then he can work a second job or side gig, and half of that can be for fun, and half goes towards the household. Otherwise, it needs to be him turning over the credit cards, deleting their info from your browser and knocking it off or your life together is going to go in very separate ways. Alternate idea. You get a better job, since you already pay for daycare. He is now responsible for half of all the house upkeep and he gets an allowance for his hobbies from the increased pay. 
The third idea, you can't collectively afford your lifestyle, mortgage on what you currently make. Might be time to look at a lower cost of living area, selling the house and downsizing financial responsibilities. I think the first is your best bet and you need to be ready to follow through. However, a 4,600 mortgage when you each only make 45K blows my mind. You need to go into emergency mode just to figure out paying down your debt and getting some money into savings, even if he stopped spending it tomorrow. The absolute first thing you have to do is get on the same page. If you haven't already, try approaching it very objectively, even seemingly at random, so it doesn't feel like you're attacking him or guilting him for some specific purchase. He could be equally stressed about it, overwhelmed without any idea where to start, and it's manifesting as indifference or defensiveness when talking about it. Maybe you could even propose it as a fun date night out to dinner or drinks, but with a laptop and or a bundle of statements. Not ideal to spend more dollars given the situation, but if that's what works to get you two talking and aligned, it's literally the most important money you could spend right now. How is that mortgage possible even if you both made 90k a year, that mortgage would still be too high? My wife and I make four techs that, and we have a similar mortgage, and I think it is almost too much. Get out of the house, rent part of it, sell it. Daycare actually is reasonable for California. Can't really adjust that one much. The credit card debt has to go at that rate, it will bury you forever. One of the leading reasons for divorce is financial stress, and that could be where this is going. I mean, he is right, $25 discretionary, buying a week is pretty low, you have to buy food. I don't know when you bought your house, but that is why you are drowning and need to be the first adjustment. Honestly, depending on the age of the house and the equity that you have there, that would be the first thing to go. If you don't sell it and the market were to crash, you're looking at bankruptcy, which is going to affect credit and financial options for the future. Instead of you providing this information, you could speak to maybe a financial advisor to say, look at your assets together, and they can do the math in front of him. If that doesn't convince him that you're into too deep and need to start digging your way out, then start finding your backup plan or exit strategy when shit hits the fan. Even if you were to say pick up another job or try to reduce the debt, it sounds like you're circling the drain and he's the anchor that's going to drag you down. Tell your husband to stop being an idiot and spend 10 minutes going over basic math. Live within your means. Sell the house or rent out a room if you need to. It should not have gotten to this, but it's not too late either. And definitely needs to cut down on games and focus on overtime. Sounds like your husband needs some adulting lessons. Wanting a toy each week is kid stuff, not adulting. Ignoring your problems is childish, not adulting. Sounds like it's time for a mandatory come to Jesus meeting. <laughs>